Obviously Hayden Armstrong, like I mentioned before, was one of their better forwards, so it'll be an interesting contest. All right, so the ball has been raised and we are ready to go. And a historic day here in Belconnen, no doubt about that. Kipax, the nest. And the Magpies have their first four home games here and we are underway. And the Belconnen Magpies have first use of the footy, although Eastlake come up with it courtesy of Chad Gibson. And it's quickly kicked clear by Madden. Didn't go too far though, plenty of bodies around the ball. Brabber's on, that's some heavy contact. That could be a free to start off. And it's been given. That is a nice start by the Magpies defensively. Uh, look, Straight onto him. Yeah, Bunyan coming in off half forward and making a making great contact there. It's excellent. Okay, so Don Bunyan decides to play on. He's got his time and he uses it nice and short, although it's dropped. But the Pies have got some numbers and they get it inside 50 for the first time today. The lead is on. The mark is brilliant. That is a very nice start. Yeah, that's a guy, the guy you want the football in the hands of is, um, is Andrew Dess. He's an excellent kick and he's a great bloke to be around. Caught up with him a couple of weeks ago when the finishing touches were being put in place here at Kipax. And he was chomping at the bit just to get out there. Sick of training. It's been a long pre-season, hasn't it? So yep. Dess has a chance. Here we go, it's a good looking kick and that is the first goal for the Bill Connor Magpies here at Kipax. Oh, you couldn't ask for much more, it's in the hands of the right bloke and he's, uh, yeah, he's well liked, um, came up from Lavington a few years ago. His father played over 100 games of uh, football for the football club, uh, probably the only bloke to ever play 100 games off one knee. But he, um, he was, his, his father's a proud Bill Connor person and, and Andrew's a good bloke to kick that first one. Plenty of pride, that's the buzzword today for the Magpies. You are really looking for a finals appearance this year. All right, so we're back in the middle. Andrew Dess and the Bill Connor Magpies up by six. Eastlake had some time with it smothered again. Gibson's around there for the Eastlake side, but it's Bill Connor again in the meantime. And they go short, and it falls around a metre short to Andrew Dess again. He gives it off. Another shot on goal. Two in the space of 30 seconds, and that one will trickle over the boundary line. Yes, it does. So Belconnen, Bubba, finding inside 50 with a bit of ease at the moment. Yeah, we're taking it forward quite convincingly. We just um, probably need to link up a bit better just off that sort of 70 to 50 metres out from. All right, so here's a chance. Vacant ball, but Eastlake, they've got the numbers out back. And they're not mucking around. They've got a bit of time and they use it nicely. That was O'Dwyer in there. Bit of pressure on Eastlake as well because the Magpies are looking to swoop. Here's an opportunity close to the new grandstand here at the nest and they pick it up nicely. That's Hegarty and he goes inside 50 again, unmarked. Bunyan. Big Dom. Yeah, look, he's a, another Bell Connon junior. Been around for a long time, so you know, hopefully he goes back and has a good look at him. Saw him in the off-season and he's talking big for season 2013 as most of the Pies are and so they should. I saw you make a bit of fun of him, the Dale Stain look-alike. Yes, we did, Dale Stain. South Africans are in form compared to the Australian cricket team, so let's see how Bunyan can go. There he is, 26, bit of strapping on the shoulder. Nothing too serious, he tells me. Bit of a tight angle, though. So Bunyan for two in a minute. Offline. But still a nice start from the Magpies, but Yeah, it's good, mate. Looks, you know, um, Heggs... Higgs has picked up a few balls off half back and we seem to be able to penetrate with our kick. So at the moment, they're sort of chipping up short, which we can apply pressure through. Eastlake, defensive 50. Taking some time. But going down the line. Captain Logan, well done. That's like him behind the football. Second year in the job. What did you make of his first season in yeah. the helm, player coach? Yeah, look, playing coach is, is probably very, very difficult. Not probably, it is very difficult. And the... Um, he quitted himself beautifully. Probably had to grow through the job, and I think we all sort of expect him to come out. Well, Belconnen again going forward. Oh, slipped over. That's unlucky. Shane Harris, he's got two on one. The bounce is nice. Left foot hits the post. Oh. Yeah, just quickly going back to Loken. He's, um, he improved across the year, and there's without a doubt, and got the group believing in his message, and um, we finished the year off exactly the way he wanted it. All right, so East Lake now with Ryan Brabbers on. Sydney-based Demon. Now they're coming out of defensive 50, and can Eastlake get into their 50 for the first time? They are pressing forward, and that was the body on the line there, Bubba. And that's what they uh, recruited Matt O'Dwyer for, right. was that run and delivery like that. All right, so a free 
to the pies. That was definitely over the shoulder. Harper's got it. They'll go back. And that's as close Eastlake has been to their goals, courtesy of the Magpies. So they go to Cameron Campbell now, the GM. And uh, look out, two on one. Took him on nicely, goes short. And that is some brilliant linkage. That's Hegarty now. Very controlled early on, Bobber. Yeah, look, that's what we're liking. And, you know, Simon Curtis there, he's playing on ball at the moment. Able to take the man on, link up well. So the margin's eight, five minutes gone. Eastlake yet to score. That's nice and they're opening up through the corridor. And they're looking for Frail. He's nearly 200 centimetres tall. Instead, they find someone else in Armstrong. Armstrong. Big Hayden loads up. Is this Eastlake's first? It's hit the post as well. Yeah, we know he's dangerous, Hayden Armstrong. Really hope that Jack Baker can nail down on him. Great work then from, um, from Ben Maiden back in the middle of the ground, able to run and carry. That's what they're sort of looking for from their on ballers, without a doubt. All right, so Cameron Campbell, he's had a busy couple of months and he's got a big kick on him too. That is dead set gone. It's what, 60, 70 metres <laughs> to the uh, coach. Logan left it behind. Eastlake now. They've got some numbers around it. It's close to the boundary line and it does in fact go over. So the margin is seven after six minutes. Yeah, look, Lexi Bennett getting his first touches there and he'll enjoy that, getting back to uh, Neeful standard football and enjoying himself again. All right, so the throw in and the ruck. Geez, they've got some big ruckmen, don't they, Bill Conan? Yeah, Matt Porter, he's a large unit. It, um, he wanted to go on one more year just to play back at the Nest, so glad to have the big guy around. Well, that's a good uh, motivator to put into the contract. We've got a new stadium, mate. Stay around for another year. Of course, you lost a few ruckmen, didn't you, and, and, and a few other players at the end of last season. Look, they're not easy to come by, ruckmen. They're like hen's teeth sometimes, and um, just to have a big, aggressive bloke like him just means, means the world to have some smaller guys around him. They all walk tall when they're walking around Matt Porter. Brabazon's kick, that's been smothered. But they managed to bomb it long, and it's gone out of bounds. On the full, in fact, so that'll be another free. And Cameron Campbell have to jump the fence. He's having a look around. No, lucky someone is there. Good crowd in too, we might add. Yeah, there's a few cricketers from the Jindera Cricket Club over there, sort of enjoying the sunshine and probably wishing they were playing in their own grand finals at this point in time, but they're down here supporting us, which is great. It is great to see, but it's good the cricket's over, isn't it? The footy's back. So we're close to the boundary line. That was nicely done. Eastlake looking strong. That's Gumley. He gave it off, and they've got some space in the middle. Brabazon left it behind on the 50. He's got some teammates around him. Plenty of black jumpers, though. They give it off time again. That's the buzzword at the moment. Wiles on his left, cut off. And the Magpies now, plenty of opportunities with Boyd. Gives it off. Coat in the headgear again. Always good to recognise him. Sharp as well. And the Magpies, they are strong. Up the middle. Inside 50. Two against one for Harris, though. His dreadlocks have grown over the preseason, no doubt. Bruce, he's up back. The hand pass is off. And they've got some opportunities now to go short. Sam Smith does that. And Eastlake just hold proceedings a bit. They're down by seven after eight minutes. On the left, go long, smothered again. That's been the order of the day, and the Magpies come up with it. They fall to ground. Umpire says play on. Eastlake, they've got some time. Hand passes, or oh, that's not off the boot very nicely, but they're still in possession. Eastlake working again with Brabazon. That's possession number five. And the white and red going forward, but the black jumpers is that in the back. The umpire lets it go. And the boundary line could win out. The tempo has lifted in the past minute. Yeah, you get that feeling, don't you? Just... Um their intensity around the back of the ball, uh, each lake and the way they sort of take, took it forward then. Probably so, like to see them a little bit more direct, but they're um, definitely competing better around the stoppages. Throw in and the punch again, surprise, surprise, was Porter, but Eastlake comes up with it. And that's Brabazon inside 50, and it's two against one. Eastlake will have to work hard. Some nice pressure by the Belcon and Magpies locals in there too. You always worry about Dean Rulston when you're coaching against Eastlake. He's got very sticky hands. He can pop up and kick a goal. Brabazon comes off for Eastlake, having a breather. Solid nine minutes for him. Okay, so it's quarter in the ruck again for the Magpies. And they tap it along close to the boundary line again. It's very tight. Eastlake, they use it courtesy. Oh, they go down. Close to the boundary line. The tackle Delaney. Delaney's strong over the football. Wagga boy, number 44 for Bell Conan. Very strong at it. Tim Gray in there for Eastlake as well. Some good pressure on the boundary line. So they seem to be running wilds against James Bennett, which um, this will be interesting. Whistle for a push, and Bell Connor, the home side, will come up with it. And getting up a bit gingerly is Josh Moody. That's a bit of a concern. 
But that is not Belconnen's problem, so they play on nice and quickly. Harper inside 50. We've got a bit of a vacant ball. Is that Bunyan again? Just needed to keep his feet there. John Van Muers. Hand passes to himself. Oh, that's a brilliant tackle. And as Harris trips over, but it was over the boundary line. So it's still seven, Bubba, after ten. Very solid, John Van Muers, isn't he, down back? You know, you'd love to have a fullback like him in any side around this competition. He was brilliant last year, John Van Muers, no doubt about that. John Love, he falls to ground. Good to see him out there. He was worried in the week he wouldn't get a start. And he's got a was child really? on the way. He said, oh, you know, with Lexi Bennett back and he lost the captaincy, he might be starting on the bench. He's uh, had a good story if you could uh, oh, take the know. mickey out of him. Yeah, hopefully he, hasn't, he didn't lose the captaincy. He's a good bloke, John. He would have put a lot of effort in, let me tell you. He didn't mind too much. And there's a good chance as well. Whistle for Harris. Yes. Yeah, and we've got 50. Is that 50, bub? Walking him in. Brilliant. Looks like it. And look, yeah, John, John's got a baby on the way with his uh, wife, Lauren. So exciting times for John Love and the Love family. It is all happening at Bell Connor, mate. It's just the nest, mate. What is happening at this side of town? <laughs> so here's Harris in the meantime to extend the margin. And he makes no mistake of that, the Mullerini medalist. Good little player, isn't 14. he? A good little player, works hard on and off the ball, you know, in terms of hard to match up on. I think... Um, no one takes him lightly anymore, but they're never sure who to actually play on him in terms of body size and fitness ability. So he's able to sort of exploit them um, when he gets a foot in his hands. So Sam Smith is on him, as we just saw, both around the same height. It's a job you dread. <laughs> yes, you would. Dread. <laughs> yeah. Like what you did there, dread loss. Oh, didn't I work that in? <laughs> oh, brilliant, Bubba. <laughs> Round one, you're pulling out all the lights. So there it is. <laughs> 11 and a half gone, 13 the margin. Bill Conan winning the ruck contest again. Surprise, surprise. Love. There he goes. Dishes it off. That was Lexi. Lexi Bennett. Great to see him back in Bill Conan colours. And here we go, East Lake. What are they going to do with it? How can they pepper the corridor like Bill Conan's been doing? Close to the boundary line. This is Perry. He's got an option short, another spoil. That's been a great part of Belconnen's game too today. The spoils have been great, and we get a free out of it. Yeah, Chris York, like I said, he's back back from overseas for this year, and his mum and dad will be very proud to have him out there today. He's um, lost about 10 kilos, and he's looking for, looking very good. Went overseas. Make the most of all the drinks and food, of course. And now he's Bunyan. Bunyan, again from Harris. Dale Stein. Dale Stein. I think he loves it just quietly, doesn't he? Good fella, <laughs> takes it well. How's this for a tight angle? He's, uh, he's an ex-cricketer and he's quite a fast bowler in his day. He Not... did play cricket, Yeah, a lot of cricket. Played a lot of bit of first grade here for Ginandera. Don Bundy, nothing he can't do. We'll see if he can kick a goal. And this will be very handy. This will take the lead to 19 if successful. Good to see a lot of people in the background watching this one go through. It goes wide and it's rushed through for a minor school. Probably just needs to convert those, Bunny, and he's getting those opportunities. And, you know, whether he gets 10 opportunities or, or four opportunities, he needs to be putting those through the big ones. But uh, hopefully he can turn that on. So Perry to Josh Moody now. They want to be the next to score, you would think. And he finds John Van Muers, and he's got plenty of height and strength. And Sam Rutland was out there on him. And now Eastlake. A bit indecisive compared to the Magpies, who looked very, very controlled early on. That's a good take by Bruce. He dishes it off. They're approaching the 50. That one's cut off. You heard the groan from Anthony Berg next door. And the Magpies. Good running, Ryan Turnbull, linking up well. Look Inside good. 50 again. Here's your man, Harris. Oh, he's got a bit of contact. And he's down. We'll get back to that shortly. As he's like courtesy of Brabazon. Smith, Brabazon, the one-two was nice. Code is chasing. As is the Ruckman in Porter. And again, it's cut off. Yeah, Sinan Brown, number 45, on for the first time for East Lake, making his debut today. Quality young man who um, he can run and carry as well. So Inside 50, here's a real chance for them. They've got a few numbers in the heart. He's marbling. Over the top for Bell Conan is Lexi Bennett. And they have a whistle. And they will throw it up. 14 gone, 14 the margin. Yeah, Harris coming off, mate. 
All right, we'll get a check with him. Hopefully he's okay. That was some heavy contact. Size was against him. Yeah, it took him on courageously, which is, you know, that's, uh, that's his go, Shane. Okay, so he's a free to the East Lake Football Club. No, he's going to go short. He's picked out Wiles. The umpire didn't like it, so we'll go back to uh, Sam Ardling. Would you back him from here? you will probably kick it right on the 50 metre arc. Oh, no coaches like long points, so he's um, <laughs> you're going to need to yeah offload, I would suggest. He's going to fall short towards the goal oh, square. Armstrong. That's a good grab around a pack of players. Yeah, Hayden Armstrong there. Like we mentioned, he's um, very strong overhead. And Armstrong has a chance to get East Lakes first. He had to work hard for that one, he certainly did. And this would be a very nice result if successful. Yeah, look, Belconnen's had all the play and um, you, know, you look up and if they kick this, we're only eight, they're only eight points down. And I think we've probably, we've worked as hard as we possibly can and you know, they, they can be within touching distance again. Right, here he goes, Hayden Armstrong. The umpire doesn't move too much. That is a very nice kick and a very nice start. East Lake's finally on the ball. Yeah, he liked that, didn't he? Straight off the boot, gave a wave. Talked to the crowd on his way through. Well done. He loves a sneaky chat to the crowd. He even gave us a uh, special hand signal to the commentary box last year when he's on song. He tweeted about it all during the week. Really? And he said, if I do something special, I'll give you a wave. And he you should have tried to pull that one out at the nest. Lived up to his word. First one. <laughs> well, they won't be going to Monica anytime soon. East Lake, of course. They have plenty of games on the road to start off their season traditionally. And they've... Um Marnik is getting torn up on the Marnik is getting ripped in July, up. so yeah, they're going to be away from home for a little while. Hopefully, we'll see those five million dollar lights turned on for an EFL game too. So here we go, back in the middle, and East Lake win it out that time, courtesy of Frail. But uh, the uh, Magpies managed to come up with it, but they can't stop Grabbers on. He dishes it off. Could this be two in a minute? Pressure, Cameron Campbell. That could be front on contact. That's what the umpire saw, and giving away the free was James Bennett. And it's number 42 for East Lake. Matty Lang, he's going to load up. He's got Wiles short if he wants. But he might even go and do it again. Could be deja vu for Armstrong. All right, so it's on his left. Very distinctive kicking style of Matt Lang. He's grown his hair over summer. The ball is free. Plenty of different looking haircuts out there at the moment. Whistle for a throw and a free kick to East Lake. This will be nice for them. And if... You can just see their pressure around the football lifting East Lake. Their, um, their ability to compete and, and that broken play when the football's on the ground. They're really applying pressure here forward. All right, so a similar angle to what Hayden Armstrong did just a few moments ago. And it's the same Likes result it. as well. So the margin is two. Taking the football in quite well there. Like, obviously the, uh, the mark wasn't taken and that type of stuff, but um, their ability to compete and get to the right places to uh, compete, that's what they're about, East Lake. So doing it well when they're deep forward, not so well when they're coming off half back, but that's, um, at the moment that's where they're, um, they're getting their best results, deep. 18 gone, first quarter. 2-3-15, 2-1-13. Okay, the bounce isn't the best, but they let it go. And they bomb it long. Bell Connor, one kick inside. 50, nice grab. Yeah, Desi's on the end of that. He's got a lovely long kick, and he's just gone back and thinks he's a, he's, he has the ability. The wind is sort of favouring that way, maybe a little bit left to right as well. So um, if he puts it in the right spot, oh, he's a genuine chance here. He pointed to the stick straight away, didn't he? <laughs> so let's see if I can talk the talk and walk the walk. He wants a crack. It's a very long kick. And it's off for a minor score, taking them to 2 4 16. Really ringing the changes, East Lake. Um, it's quite a warm day, so in the ground, we, we got about 30 mils on Thursday and Friday, so it's a bit soft and they're, they're working very, very hard. Some very big storms in Canberra earlier in the week. That one is close to the boundary line, but taken, cut off by Hegarty. Hegarty after Brabazon kicked it, hoping for the best. That one was dropped, that was Jansen. And they give it back. They've got some pressure. Nicely handled. Sharp. Living up to his surname. Was that uh, taken off the ball? The umpire says yes. And he was swung off it. Want to move the ball here quickly before they have the opportunity to get their numbers behind it, Eastlake. 
No, it hasn't moved as quickly, but Harris is back, which is great. <laughs> didn't you, mate, did he? No. But he goes short. And Harris is here trying to work, and he's got two men on him. Not much of a chance when, Gibbs is in, when Gibson's in front of him. So he needs to be able to work harder. Decisive. Finds his coach, Loken, the one to again, Campbell, on his left. Picked out the player nicely in 23, Hegarty. And he goes across the face. It's a funny style of footy. Now, Belconnen seems a bit timid in terms of taking the ball forward. They've been so good at it all day, and that one will be cut off. And that is John Van Muellitz on his left, short. And they're coming out of defensive 50. A bit of work to do. Look out, that's 11 in Mesman. It's a bit scrappy at the moment, Gibson. He dishes it off to McMahon. Yeah, Bunyan was never going to affect that tackle there against Gibson when he had a full head of steam up. He is a big unit, Chad Gibson. That one trickles over the boundary line for a throw in, 20 and a half goal. Yeah, look, James Bennett's just working his way into the game. You know, um, while well, going with him, but I think James is starting to, starting to get a few more touches, and I think that's what's going to have to, uh, have to occur more and more. All right, so crucial. Bill Connan extend their lead or Eastlake get in front. Next goal, very important. Early days in this game. Gumley on his right. Oh, the big fly. But we've got a whistle. But yeah. free to Bill Probably one of our harder worker players, harder working players over the pre is Nick Collins. Well rewarded with a rep jumper in the under 23s and he um yeah, he's a, a very solid contributor, very, very fit. So out of defensive fifty. Great applies. Spoiled. And over the boundary line. The Yorkie needs to be better there at ground level and he, he'll improve. So three is the margin. Approaching quarter time. It's been pretty level, but you think Belconnen's just in front as Love goes bang inside 50. Looking for Harris. Slick as always. That was nice by Sam Smith. John Van Mules now in the meantime on his left. Lots of time, doesn't he, John Van Mules? He makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Absolute star. And they've got a bit of run now, Eastlake. He's found Matt Lang out on his own. Chasing hard, he's 22 for Belconnen. Not a great kick there. Hegarty's just mopping it up. So they're loving that side of the nest, aren't they? It's always nice when they're closer. Probably the way the, uh, the conditions are pushing, though. The wind just seems to be pushing it that way. All right, so Coat on his left, bang, real quick who uh, filmed a very entertaining Wombats Weekly this week for the new digs here at The Nest. That is brilliant vision, Wombats Weekly. Have you been stitched up yet? Uh, I was actually, I was on this week, so I'm not quite <laughs> sure if it's gone to air yet on the internet. Hopefully not. <laughs> well, he was talking the talk to me earlier in the week, so we'll see how that one pans out. He's got to stop giggling when he does. He is a bit of a giggler, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Good most fella. Unbelievable. She shouldn't be doing it, but uh, he's a mute most of the time. <laughs> All right, so it's Eastlake now. Bruce on his right. Looking to pick out Armstrong. He had two to beat, and that is some body on the line stuff by Bill Connors. That's Nick Collins again, mate. That's what we're talking about. Very courageous. He knows what he's got to do down back. Sort of what you really want to be playing with, because you can get the football in his hands, and he'll, he'll bust the line for you and deliver. OK, so some good territory for the East Lane Footy Club. Frail's in there in the ruck, and he got his hand to it. Trickles out for Bill Connor. They've got the numbers at the moment. But they've given it over to Eastlake, shot on goal, and Lokes just lets it go through for a minor score. The yeah, Lee, Mc Lee McMahon is a good kick, lovely kick, so um, working very hard there, Lee. Just cutting the football off is an opportunist. All right, well, here's an opportunity now for Bell Connor. They go along, approaching the 50. And he dies at the back of his head. In order to get that one was York, and it goes over the boundary line. Probably not the kick you want on a fast break, is it, when you have the ability to be able to square us up and take us through the middle of the corridor, you know, Ryan Turnbull sort of opted to go wide, which isn't really where you want to be. Okay, so Fran the Ruck did very, very well, but it's tapped off to Bill Conan. That that's a very a nice grab, Shane Harris, all by himself. And that's a kick we want from Ryan Turnbull. That's, he's, he's read it beautifully there off the hands, you know, and um, the ability to deliver is what Ryan's probably all about. So Shane Harris is looking for number two for this afternoon. And you're backing from here, not too much of an angle. Yeah, he's still sucking him in, so maybe still feeling the effects from that uh, knock to the chest, a sternum type lung I issue possibly, but he's, um, I'd back him as well. Good to see him back in. 
after that heavy knock, as you mentioned. So here we go. The reigning Malrooney medalist. And he get his second. He oh, he's it. clapping it through. He likes it. He's a good man. Good man with the football in his hands. We all sort of like what he has to, has to give. So it's just fantastic. He can go back and deliver. It's good to have someone who can deliver. So Shane Harris, number two for the afternoon. And as he said, sucking in the big ones. It is hot out there. Yeah, look, um, boys are all covered in sweat already. Sort of, um, sort of conditions that, that suit the faster players and the guys who are at their fitness peaks at this point in time. 25 minutes gone, 3 4 22, 2 2 14. As we approach quarter time here at the Ness for round one of the Neefle Eastern Conference. Footy is back. It is absolutely brilliant, and that is a good bounce by the umpire. One again by Eastlake. Can they go through the middle? Just banged it onto the right boot, picked up and kicks towards the boundary line, or just bounced a metre before going out. Not a bad kick there by young Chris Jansen. He's a, he's a real competitor, Chris. He's part of the um, the ACT Cats program. He's in the GWS Academy side. So quite a hard worker. He's football and he's um, very courageous as well. Who else should we look out for this year, Baba, from the Belcott and Magpies? Who's flying under the radar and who is you expecting to have an absolute big campaign in 2030? Look, I'm pretty impressed with um, Browning so far. Um, Andrew Browning, number 45 in the ruck. He's a big bloke with a beard. From Chichura, he's, um, he's competing quite well and giving us some flexibility in the ruck, which we didn't have over the last couple of years. Um, in terms of other ones at big years, yeah, Jordan Harper's, you know, he's cherry ripe. Oh, that's a good mark, Shane Harris. Oh, I was touched. He's been told to play on. We've got whistles and people pointing everywhere. Harris especially, he's pointing the finger saying, give it back to me. And he's got it. And that was very nice. That was some brilliant camera work because he was running forward. And I think it deflected off his chest and he put his mitt out and he got it. And Sam Smith is on the mark and Shane Harris and Dominic Bunyan, we saw a few kicks prior. He's had a very nice start. Yeah, he has. You know, Dom's really working hard off half forward and sometimes you've got to have that sort of defensive half forward who's prepared to run in and tackle. And he's, um, he's doing that with, um, with a blom, without a doubt. So Shane Harris, we will be watching this one through. There is the angle. The longest run up in Neefall. He hasn't changed that over the preseason. Oh, that's a shocker. Yeah, it wasn't his best kick. He's um, just leant back on that one and just seemed to sort of tug it towards the right. All right, so that takes him to 23, place 14, 3 5 2 2, 27. I mean, it's gone, and that's a nice mark. Will that be 50? No. Frail. Very close, but that's the type of thing Jordan Harper needs to do as a player. Like, if he's not going to be in the contest, he needs to make his physical presence felt. And he's fit as, um, as anyone on the ground, number seven, Jordan. And he just needs to be able to yeah, impact whenever he uh, has the opportunity. So we've got a free kick here. Cameron Campbell, the GM, on his right. Centering, was that hands in the back? The umpire said no, it's a good punch, but it goes into the direction of Matty Loken. He stops, props, and he's got it. Oh, that is the first... What a time Siren done here at the Nest. 3 5 23 2 2 14 in favour of Belconnen. Baba, before we take a break, Belconnen, nice start. Yeah, great start. Great start. Um, you know, we're probably kicking with the, with the conditions here. So for the people that aren't, you know, watching on, uh, on, on the live stream, probably we, Bell Connor was kicking with the conditions. So he's like to have a fair, um, a fairly good reason to be happy and satisfied at the moment. And I think they, if they come out and work hard in the second quarter, there's some rewards on for them as well as Belcon at this stage. 3 5 23 2, 2 14. We'll take a break. Quarter time here at the Nest. Belcon and Eastlake, round one of the Neefle Eastern Conference. The Nest at Belcon 23 plays 14. Matt O'Dwyer's not showing much respect there to Jordan Harper. This will be interesting. Straight into it, eh? 25 really separates them and whoever gets the football wins, basically. So it's a game of Russian roulette to a degree. Well, here we go. This second quarter is underway. And Chad Gibson trying to go over his head, not very successful. Taken out very nicely by number six in Bennett, James Bennett. And now Bill Connor, they are racing through. Oh, gets off his hands and knees very quickly. That was some nice work. And now the Pies, they've got some chances. Simon Curtis was in there, but it's taken off by 20. And McMahon, and he bangs it very, very long. And the chase is on for the vacant ball. Very nicely done, Matthew Loken. Hand passes down the line through the legs of 27 sharp. And it's picked up by Eastlake, and they reload. And the pace is very nice at the moment. Armstrong with the uh, hand pass over his left shoulder. 
in the Martling direction, not good enough. Whistle from the umpire, holding on too long. Yeah, he's got to be a bit better than that. Got to know when the guy's got the football or not. It's pretty simple stuff. So Belconnen, we've got some time. Hence the bounce. This is what we talked about there with Jordan Harper's been able to push up and get the football on his own. <laughs> he's kicked it straight to his direct opponent there in that O'Dwyer. So O'Dwyer to Brabazon. And he's got it now. On his right. Side 50 in the pocket, put the left mid out was Armstrong. He'll get to the boundary line, that he's all over the shoulder, and then it's a free kick to Jordan Harper. Yeah, Jordan's working quite high up the ground here you know, as, a, as a half forward, and I guess that's um, it's going to be sort of a game of who blinks first between the coaching group and whether O'Dwyer goes to him or whether he needs to push forward and get some football closer to goal. Speaking of coaches, there's Lokes on his left, thumping. That's what you want to see from him, just he's a lovely kick of the football, so. Absolutely. Close to the boundary line, slipping and sliding. And that was nice work by Josh Moody to his number two in Mardling. It's a bit of a balk, but then he gets rid of it. Dropped cold by Moody, manages to reload though with a right foot kick inside 50. Whistle for over the shoulder. And we've got a free kick. Oh, it's on, here we go. They're just letting it all out. The Bennett boys are starting to get involved. They Welcome are. back to the Neeful boys. Yeah, that's exactly right. I think he might be, James might be getting a little bit sick of being tagged. Starting a little bit of frustration going. Lexi's just bumping into the blokes. With a big smile on his face as well. And he's uh, taking the mickey out of them. Is that Bundy coming into shot? I don't know what he'd be able to do. It's Shane Harris though. He's got three to beat. Taken off nicely was uh, Van Mewers and Bruce working well together. Perry was in there and they're reloading East Slade. They've got a bit of passion now. Gumley on his ride in the direction of Frau. That was even too big for him and he's 200 centimetres. And the Magpies pick it up courtesy of Porter. And this is Collins. And he's going to go in the opposite direction to the boss in Cam Campbell. And he gives it off. Jack Baker. Just not probably the kick we wanted. We really need to hit up a target there when I say we. I mean, Bill Connor, of course. Just really <laughs> need to hit up a target then and just sort of steady the ship. And now they're uh, back on the attack because of a bad ball. Cut off again by Bill Connor. Yeah, he's, he's very busy, Collins, at the moment. As is this man, Harper. Short. York. Having a good hard look before he gets rid of it. To Love. He's a good kick as well on his right. It's long, but into the direction of his opposing number in number 11, Justin Mesman. And that was uh, lucky. Well, that's the right idea. That's what you want Love doing in that situation, is turning and getting the football in as quickly as possible. Have the uh, East Lake defence on the back foot and um, just probably the, the forwards need to be reacting to that position rather than the kicker. OK, so that's a very good territory for the Magpies. But East Lake kick it out very, very long. A rushed kick, two against one. Plenty of work to do for Mardley, but he's still in there sliding through was O'Connell. We have a whistle because it is out of bounds. I've talked him into it there. No, free. Deliberate. Do we have another whistle? What's going on? It's come back to Bennett. I... He's getting under their skin by if, the looks of it. If I was an East Lake coach, I wouldn't be happy about that one. I have no idea what that was for. All right, but Bill Connor managed to come up with it. Perfect. And... Jim's pushed right up, mate. He's at centre half four. Cameron Campbell, he's had plenty of the ball today. Kicks. It's a lovely kick as well. Oh, it's a long way. But he tries to go for Harris. He had two against one. That is a very nice punch. Went extremely high. Here's Jake Gumley. Code, the Wombat. What can he do? Triples it to the opposing numbers. And East Lake with some room. Wiles, he's very good in his left foot. He bounces, tells someone to come forward before he gets rid of it. Approaching the 50, he goes over the head of jo uh, Sam Mardling, pardon me. He gets it onto his left into the direction of Armstrong, but it's cut off again by the Magpies. Yeah, it's a bit of a game of forcings back, isn't it? The football seems to get turned over on half back and we're going sort of back and forth. Hard day for the cameraman. Tough conditions. You should see the window on this joint. That's a different story because Mardling goes bang. And gets the goal. The margin's now three. Three points of difference. It's probably, again, they're just, um, they, they work off half back there, East Lake, on um, linking with Wild and those types. Um, Dean Ralston and Lee McMahon able to take the football forward. 
and, and get over the back of their bell corner defence is what's enabled them to kick a couple of goals. So it's pretty level at this point in time, even though Bell Connors in front by three. 3-5 three, to 3-2 three, as we approach the sixth minute in the second quarter here at the Nest in Kipax. Matt O'Dwyer's getting closer to Jordan Harper, but not close enough. So the bounce, Love. Going backwards to go forwards, that's okay, because it's working out nicely. Harper again had an option to his right, but he ignored it. Goes the kick, it had too much heat on it. Now Eastlake, courtesy of Mesman, goes long, running hard is O'Connell. The bounce is nice for him. Cody's chasing, slips over. Short pass on the right, is that a mark? Yes, it is. That is very nice work Madeline by Sam Madley. Yeah, look, um, the Wombat didn't have much traction then on the nest. He um, slipped straight over, trying to chase some tail. And Eastlake, if successful, will take them to the front for the first time. So here we go, Mardling, 51 metres. Does it have enough on it? Yes, it does, and Eastlake hits the front. Probably wouldn't have backed him from there, but he, he looked quite confident having the kick, and he's gone back and really delivered there. He's probably you know, a foot off the ground when he's made contact, and the, and the football's a little bit. So 4 2 26, 3 5 23, 7 gone. Eastlake, first time they've been in front this afternoon. And this is good as applying a bit of pressure to Bell Connor, and they've got to go and sort themselves out and see how they take the football forward with some, um, with some direction and really really start to deliver to their full. Bell Connor, and they've got to go and sort themselves out and see how they take the football forward with some, um, with some direction and really really start to deliver to their forwards. You know, we've got Harris, you know, in a two-on-one. We've got, you know, Des in a three-on-two. It just doesn't seem to be quite right for Belcon at the moment. Bounce not very good. We'll do it again. And we've got some good quality umpires around for the Eastern Conference. There's only two games. I mean, they've done a pretty good job so far. And the ruck, pretty even. Eastlake comes up with that nice touch. Brabbers on Gumley working nicely together as they have all day. And now there's a bit of room for O'Dwyer, dishes it off. And Eastlake, close to the boundary line, they've got some chasing to do, both teams. And it's two against one. And a bit of a groan from the Eastlake box. John Love, he's grinding too, because he's taken over the boundary line. Yeah, Bill Connor needs a link better through there. James Bennett needs to really, you know, get involved and sort of you know, catch and kill his own type of footy, which he just isn't doing at the moment. So Bill Connor with it again. He's had a good day out, good. Matthew Porter, the big ruckman. Eastlake on their hands and knees to get rid of it. Whistle. And uh, that's Bruce, in fact, who'll get it. The coach's block next to us liked that one, didn't they? Yeah, that was nice. Jesus, good to see what they're going through. Stressful, good coaching. Armstrong, he had the sun in his eyes. Mardling is close to the boundary line. Did it trick all over? No, said the umpire. Two against one again. Before they race through, but it's intercepted. That's poor work by O'Connell. And that's a poor kick. Busy Mardling, isn't he? Little fella down forward, as well as, um, you know, Mitch Frail. These guys are really good. Goal! Really well. oh! Was that in the back? Oh, <laughs> wow. Very, very fortunate for Jack Baker there. I thought he was gone for all money. He had all the time of the world, didn't he, Barbara? And that's Baker. And that is a tough one to swallow if you're East Lake. Yeah, we can hear it from the coach's box next door. No, I don't blame him at all. That was um, unlucky at the least. Tough going. But they are in front, only by three. Belconnen, short. You see where it seems a bit directionless, Belconnen? They're just not quite taking the football forward with any authority. You know, um, Browning's good here. He needs to be moving the ball quickly, which he has. Compared to what they were doing in the first quarter, absolutely. That is a thumping long kick. Harris is looking to get under it. Puts his left hand out. Umpire says play on. Sam Smith is chasing hard. Can he pick it up cleanly? No, left it behind. So it's three against two at the moment. Harris, the South Australian, comes up with it, dropped it, left it behind. Coming through now is O'Dwyer. He goes short, and it fell short to number 42 in Lang. And that one's out of bounds on the fall. See, while Jordan Harper's pushing up the ground and getting some football, there's no one applying pressure to the Matt O'Dwyer's and these guys down deep forward for, uh, for Bell Conan. So we need those guys to be working a little bit deep. And when the football gets in, they've got to work harder towards goal. All right, so a really good opportunity for Bell Cotton to go forward. They do, albeit the short option at this point in time. Harris is leading strongly, ignores it. And will still go long. They've got some height out there. That is a big jump. Yeah, Browning, he is quite tall, but you know, in those types of situations where you're really relying on a contested mark, you, it's a 50-50 type situation. You really want to be getting those odds in your favour when you've got someone hard in the lead. Okay, so some 
precious land at the moment for the Pies, but they get rid of it East Lake, courtesy of Moody, not too far though. Because the black and teal on the left towards the goal square, Harris, and that one has gone as a bounce on the full. It's a big kick, Simon Curtis, and uh, if he had the opportunity to stand up in his right, he probably should have. But now he can, they can really lock it in and apply some pressure. Tim Gray, suspect under pressure. Three still the margin. East Lake's favourite. That is a thumping kick. I think it's Gray. He's gone absolutely 70 metres, if you don't mind. Now East Lake, two kicks, and they're in there inside their 50, just about. Logan is chasing, maybe not too hard, because he knows it's going to go over the boundary line. 11 minutes gone. We're talking the commentary box by me there, just uh, potting grey and he's got and done something fantastic. So, uh, oh, put, the curse, those mate, away. you'll learn that quick, don't worry. <laughs> put that away, let me tell you. So it's been pretty defensive from both ends. The score has not been troubled too much since the quarter time break. Eastlake, you'd think, would be happy with how they've come about in the second quarter. Oh, yeah. What's your thoughts on the scoreboard, Rick? Brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Good to see some logos up there and it's absolutely huge. I think it's better than the little digital one at Monica you can hardly see. A bit of animation, I guess it um, sort of helps. Good to have the sponsors on board as well. Yeah, volunteers are hard to get by, so if you haven't got a man of man one, it's it's pretty good. Well, let's see if Bill Conan can add to the scoreboard. Teaming up nicely was Grey and Frail, and now Grey again on his right. And they've got an opportunity. Spoils again. That was very nice work by the Magpies. Carrying on like a broken record, but they have been doing that brilliantly all day. They've had five smothers, you'd think. Unbelievably tough on the cameraman. Yep. He's doing well. Oh, that's a good grab. Was it paid? Yes, it was. That's Ralston and his sticky hands. We talked about this before. You did, he was mate. Just able to, to pluck those contested marks. And not, it's not that he's in the best position, but he's able to get his fingertips to them. And they, they, they really stick. He's a, he's a quality player, Dean. All right, well, this will be very handy for East Lake. So here we go. Dean Rolston on his right. What's his reaction? It's pretty good. He likes it. And so does East Lake. Yeah, in, the, in these sort of conditions, every time you can get a bit of a break and a breather and, and you can rely on someone to go back and kick that goal, sort of uh, can lift the team immensely. At, uh, and, and he's gone back and done that and delivered. Tell us about these two teams, Bubba, and your brilliant coaching career. What is the feeling between these two? Uh, is, it a, is it a bitter rivalry? Oh, it's probably not. No, it's probably not the most bitter of rivalries. East Lake were always um, actually not, not a bad bunch of blokes. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we sort of get along with them, but um, uh, they were able to challenge us for many times. And in 2001, obviously, beat us in the grand final, which was um, a pretty disappointing day for, uh, for the Bell Connor Football Club. Sorry to bring that up. Here we go. <laughs> Back in the middle. And it's Moody. Had some work to do at ground level. Aaron Wiles jumping all over the place. I think he got his hand on it. We've got whistles going everywhere now. He could be pinged for this. No, it's gone to his direction. Okay, so Brabber's on now. Inside the 50. And they're manning up nicely. Bill Connard once again. Two against one. Loken's in there. Cam Campbell's in there. Loken gets it away on his left. Towards the boundary line. And that has gone out of bounds. Nice work, Lokes. Yeah, nine points of difference is probably about right. They seem to be um, just working a little bit harder off the ball East Lake at the moment, so getting the rewards for their effort. And I, I did think it might favour that end slightly. It seems to be that. So now the red and the white of East Lake. Short kick, putting the mid out nicely was 42 in laying, and that's gone out of bounds because they want it deliberate. Going by the crowd reaction, I don't think they gave it. No, we got it, mate. Oh, he did get it. There it is. Look at the screen, Grego. Which was surprising. Look, I, I really thought our guy needed to get him lower then. That's a risky kick he's gone for. Wombat's just mopped it up lovely. Very nicely done, Wombat. The kick at the boot laces, putting his teammate under plenty of pressure. But he comes back in, does code. Waiting to get his hands on it again. But his teammates managed to do it. It's a bit sloppy at the moment. That's a strong tackle. Yeah, Rutland over the football there was quite good, but... Um, yeah, our, our boys can't see any sort of clear space here, a bit of clear air, and we just seem to be battling to take it forward. Hopefully we can do something here. Bunyan to Harris. Spilt it, but had time to regather. Swinging around on his left, one-on-one. -on -one. John Van Mules at fullback. Love is there and putting his hands up for it as well as Chris York. Really beaten John in those, in those situations, and he's proven it again. He knows exactly where the boundary line is, who his friends are at that point in time, and he's worked it well. 15 minutes gone. Very nice chance for Bill Connor to get one back now. What have we got in the ruck? 
Frail was there for East Lake. Quick snap from Bill Conan, and that will go oh, through for a beautiful goal. So he's a ruck rover. He's rucked it to himself. He's turned around and kicked it on his left foot. Who and was it? Goal. James Bennett. James Bennett. Brilliant. We probably haven't talked about him much, but um, North Adelaide, uh, best and fairest last year, a team that finished in a preliminary final across in the South Australian Football League. So obviously a very, very good player. Local junior product here from Belconnen. And probably, uh, I think he's won three best and fairest here, and he'll probably add to that you know, in the next couple of years. He's looking to settle down. And um, you know, he's an um, assistant coach here at the Belconnen Footy Club, and he's leading it quite convincingly. There he was on screen, number six, James Bennett. And Wiles has been wearing him like a glove, he really has. So, you know, that'll be a bit of disappointment for Wiles, who's been right up him most of the day so far. Travis on. Couldn't find his teammate. Collins is taken to ground. He'll have a whistle. And we'll do it all again. And that kick, well, it takes the margin, pegs it back down to three after 16 and a half. Yeah, look how, how tight Wiles there is on James. He doesn't want to give him any. And we'll do it all again. And that kick, well, it takes the margin, pegs it back down to three after 16 and a half. Yeah, look how, how tight Wiles there is on James. He doesn't want to give him an inch again. And what we probably like is I've moved Nick Collins in around the football. He's been a definite ball winner for Bell Conan. So you want those guys around the footy as often as you can. All right, so Bell Conan again. If they get a goal, they're back in front. We've got a free for a throw, and it's going to the direction of East Lake. And that's Wiles. Wiles right on James Bennett's hammer. So Wiles. He's got some options to his right. Finally decides to go in that direction, looking for John Van Muers. Plenty of time. Confident with that one. So he goes on his left. A good pack of players. That's a nice attempt at a grab. Can't attack him from the front, but he hasn't got away with it. Collins. On his right, that one falls short. Trying to find the target. It's a bit difficult at the moment for both teams, but they managed to get one here now. Bell Conan, uh, pardon me, Eastlake, courtesy of O'Dwyer. Through Ben Maiden. Ben's a, he runs hard when he's got the football in his hands, Ben, and he's, he's done it in there again. You probably just want a bit shorter and flatter, not shorter, but just a, a flatter kick. He's putting all his forwards under pressure and allowed Bell Conan to get behind the football. Okay, so we're having a conference. I'm pretty sure it hit the uh, pad. The ball wasn't over. I think it should be a... Okay, they've given the point. Because we want Lokes to load up and uh, and go as long as he can, but he seems to always pop up short, which is free to the GM anyway. Yeah, you've got to look after the boss, don't you? <laughs> Even on the field. That's a nice punch to himself. Des, plenty to beat. Coates in there, taken from behind by Perry, threw him to the ground. The ball comes out. East Lake with the numbers. Was that a throw? But Bill Conlon come up with it anyway. So they just settle before Bunyan, again, he's, he's, he's busy on those flanks, Bunyan, but we just probably ought to be bringing the football back in. No, he's worked it out quite well. Very distinctive to point out, isn't he, Bunyan? When he's 200 metres that way, you know it's him. <laughs> and here we go, the pies. That's a nice word before falling to ground. Strong tackle from behind, Rutland, whistle. As good as Port has been, I think we've really sort of benefited when, um, when Browning's gone to the ruck. You know, he, the camera's not in right now, but as a ruck, when he's working his tail off to get back behind the football, and, uh, I think that's been, been, a, been a benefit. I reckon that's why we've had some attacking opportunities recently. Sam Smith did very nicely, running backwards. Harris is no match. Oh, that's a nice dummy on the boundary line by Sharp. He puts it on his left, tight angle, and that is a brilliant spoil coming over the top. Just Harris's hands in the back then, first contact. And we've got a free. That was commitment. And you'd be happy, from a coach's point of view, putting your body on the line like that. Yeah, look, you jump. Although Harris is probably isn't the hardest man to jump over the top of. I think it was Aaron Bruce there who, who was really Bruce, launched himself me. at it. And that's what you want to see from your captain. He's butted up here and got the football again and can run and carry. Shane Harris trying to give him one back after he got rid of it, but Bruce stuck his ground. Now here's Love, close to the boundary line. Goes over the head of Wiles, who manages to pick it up. Gets a hand pass over his shoulder to the boundary line. Could have ended up in the Jumping Castle. The Jumping Castle looks fairly popular at this point in time. How so good is that going? Yeah, it looks like it's happening over there for the kids. That is absolutely brilliant. A bit of Auskick here on here at uh, half time. East Lake's been good enough to bring their Auskick program out for a kick. So, you know, adds to the numbers and the atmosphere. It is a great atmosphere. It's been a wonderful day for Bill Conan so far. And they're very lucky with the weather. Yep especially for their function after the game tonight. 
Out on the oval, mate. Yeah, no a... roof, mate. Lucky it's not raining. Exactly. We've got a couple of marquees, and uh, Barlands is a major sponsor of ours, and we're lucky enough they're going to bring a, a few things along so we can enjoy uh, the atmosphere and the and the oval itself. Well, they've got some work to do, Bill Connor, to hit the front. It's only four. They're really staying in this, aren't they? It's still a pretty even game, considering it's only four. The difference, probably. Yeah, yeah you probably... Someone's going to break it open eventually. Well, maybe they won't, you know, in terms of the, the whole game. But if someone can really get some skill level here and just, just lift the tempo and their skill level at the same time, just get a feeling that someone's going to be able to break this open. 20 minutes gone. In fact, we're approaching the 21st minute. And Belconnor now. Bain couldn't get rid of it with Sharp. Bruce goes to ground but got the hand passed away. Sin and Brown, the debutante there. He's, um, he's worked pretty hard. Missed a couple of tackles, but you expect that maybe from a first game, but he's got on the end of it and done really well. So here's a chance for Eastlake. Can they get it towards the post? That's Collins. Was he tripped on the way through? He didn't have to play on there. That's probably what you get with a bit of an experience, but look at the end of the day, we're out of trouble. And that is a good spoil. From 17 in Manio Dwyer. Okay, in the same place where we started. 21 and a half gone. 5 3 to 4 5. Works hard, Chad Gibson, doesn't he? He's, hard, he's a hard body to move in those ruck contests. He doesn't jump as high as maybe he used to, but he's um, a movable object sometimes. Speaking of moving, Bill Collins doing it nicely. They've got some space now through number seven in Harper. Goes long, Harris one-on-one -on -one with Smith. He got the double fist on it. Cuts the march into three. Tough little competitor there, Mark Smith. He's um, from good stock. Mary Annie's mother's a lovely lady, and he's, um, he's, he's hard as nails. He's probably got the right person for that job. Right to Eastlake. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Something he managed to get the kick away just in time. Towards the direction of Brabber's on close to the boundary line, chasing is Simon Curtis, but Brabber does well. You don't want to give him space like that. Yeah. Nice Simo really needs to push him harder there and look towards the boundary. His um, skill level, Brabber's on, ability to hit the target, showing up again. And this is Mardling's distance from last time. With a bit of wind at his back, he's every chance to kick this. Good pick, right, well, this could undo some pressure from Bell Connor. So here he goes. The kick is going to bend back. No, it won't. Minus score. Takes them to 34. He's working hard, Mardling. He's, he's impressing me today. A bit of strapping on the knee, but I reckon he's, um, he's hard as nails from down that um, country Victorian border. Oh, they're breeding tough down there. Don't worry about that. Bell Connor. Curtis. Oh. Bill Conan, Cameron Campbell, I think it was down there. Yeah, James Bennett's out. One-on-one -on -one contest again. Well, Sam well, Smith v. Well, Shane Harris. And Eastlake comes up with it again, courtesy of Sam Smith, who's doing very well. It's a good little battle up back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Smith. Yeah, his ability to work Shane in the positions where he doesn't want to necessarily be is probably what's telling at the moment. Shane wants to dictate terms and, and Mark Smith and um, Smithy's vest definitely not allowing that to occur. It's the shortest man on at the moment, isn't it? Forward. Shane Harris and Sam Smith, not the tallest gentleman going around. Not that I could talk. No. You don't see it every day, do you? No, you don't. Look at Bell Connor's probably a little bit one dimensional there in terms of taking the ball forward. Need to get another couple of options. Perhaps push Des deep. Calls for ball. Umpire didn't want a bar of it, so he quickly throws it up. And Bill Connor, quick kick away. Plenty of bodies around it. Brabazon again always manages to find some space. On his right, one on one. Oh, very nicely done, Matthew Loken. Does a pirouette before he gets rid of it. Into the direction of the ruck. Oh, just went over his head was Dominic Bunyan. And that one's nice. It's like now. It is an absolute seesaw affair at the moment. Yeah, they're short. Well. We just we probably need you know we need Matthew Sharp just to be able to get the football on his uh, on his foot quicker and give us some. He's getting enough of it. He just seems to be getting tackled in the last one he does. So Gray with the hand pass, good opportunity. Was he taken before it? No, thrown off it afterwards. The umpire let it go. Bill Connor's pressure is great. Some good shepherd work for half a second. Moody still chasing strong, but Bill Connor, get out of trouble, Coach. Yeah, Coach, he's doing okay. He's got to be able to hit up oh. here. 
straight into the man on the mark again. Glad you I brought that up. On him. <laughs> so his Brav is on again. He's like, they're looking desperate. They've got to get it forward. And it's taken over the boundary line by Nick Collins as we approach half time. He's not doing the uh, number two any favours here. He's not, not wearing it with pride here, uh, Stephen Cope. We wish he'd be able to hit up the targets a little bit better than what he has recently. It's always the way you talk them up. They do something silly, makes you look like a fool. That is brilliant. Thank you so much, Wombat. All right. Here we go. Eastlake, can they make the most of this? Bell Connor, they manage to do it again. Get out of defensive 50. Wiles! This is York, just keeping it in front. Needs the bounce, got it. Get up Browning beautifully. He's got to move quick now. All right, we're approaching half time. He's in front, Harris. He punched it over Sam Smith's head, but he's got two against one. Coming through, I think that's the boss. Shane Harris left it behind. Sammy Smith, beautifully done. The one, two. Oh, that's great work by Smith. Until he kicked it to the opposition in Bunyan. Run and carry here, James. Put it over their head. Put the muzzle in again. That one's touch. Play on, says the umpire. There's some height in Mesman. They managed to... Yeah, look, just with Harris, it's, it's, it's a hardest position to play on the field as, as a small forward. They, uh, they they can tend to work you out eventually. And look, Sam Smith's doing a fantastic job with him at the moment. And I, I probably think that, that Harris needs to work a little bit harder. He's looking for any advantage he can get. It's just not forthcoming at the moment. Only thing that's going to get him out of its hard work. It is a great battle between the two, Smith v Harris. At the moment, you think it's Smith in front by that much. Moody now on his right, long. Inside 50, good grab. Once again, it's the one-two combination. Small forward at the other end, you know, in Mardling, he's got the foot in his hands again. He's more, you know, as, as dangerous as, uh, as Harris has been. And Bill Connor probably needs to respect this bloke a little bit more because he's doing really well. Bit of a mixed bag in terms of shots on. So what's this one done? Mardling, it's gone over their heads. That's the one he wanted. The margin is back to 10. One half time again. Use off the footy, they bang it in long inside 50. Harris is under it, and there's Bruce. He gets rid of it to Perry, but the Bill Connor Magpies still have the numbers. A shot on goal, and where's it gonna go? It goes short, and there is plenty of noise coming out of the box next door. The East Lake Footy Club coaches box. Bubba, good afternoon to you once again. <laughs> it is all happening. We are back 29 seconds in, and it's all happening. Not quite sure what's happening in the box next to us. They're excited about something which I couldn't quite work out. But um, I think it had something to do with the umpiring decision at the time. We'll talk about what Bill Connon said at half time. You were there. And here's the pies. And this is exactly what they wanted. They just wanted to move the football forward with some authority and be able to hit a target. Um, probably not like that. We might get lucky here Still with the bounce. Still a chance though, Bubba. Sorry to cut you off. Here we go. That's all right. Ryan Temple ran onto it quite well then from broken play. Probably should have been a little bit better with the execution, but uh, made it hard on York and the footy's out on the full. All right, so he's late. In front by nine. And they've found some room through Gumley. This is probably always the hardest period in, in a game, uh, especially the tight contest where you know you're up for a battle and this next five to ten minutes you're wondering whether to conserve energy or whether to go hard at it. No, the game won't be broken open in the next ten, so you're sort of just treading water, getting yourself prepared for the, uh, the battle that's going to ensue. Right, so we have a throw in. Gibson's in there for East Lake. As is Big Porter as well. Wiles first to the footy there. So James Bennett needs to start working his way to be in that front position. Definitely in his ear there telling him what he's going to do next time. All right, so slow going for the start of the third quarter. And it is Porter and Gibson again in the ruck. And it's a bit of a dead end at the moment, so we'll do it all again. Wiles on the bottom of the pack there, the footy's hands again. So he's definitely working James Bennett over here. See if we can get a clearance this time. Nicely done by Porter. And that's a great quick kick out by Bennett. That is a big fly for the punch from Eastlake. Nicely done. And it goes over the boundary line once again. Belcotton's still in this, Bubba, to state the obvious. Uh, no doubt they're feeling that. 
Yeah, definitely. Look, they're just pushing Browning forward here, trying to get some height. You know, as the, as the day gets longer and the players get tighter, the blokes don't get any shorter. So they're trying to get a bit of height advantage, which is probably the right idea when the football comes in, you know. Um, not with authority, which it wasn't in the, in the second quarter. Some good work by Eastlake. Moody now. Ends the trend of hand passes with a kick. Looking for Mardling, but that was nicely done by Stephen Coate, the other number two. And that's probably the right matchup there. Mardling, like we said in the second quarter, got off the chain and we're, you know, someone had to go to him and Sav's probably becoming a senior player, so he needed to do that. Delaney and Cameron Campbell working strongly together. Hard to get the uh, studs to stay in the grass at the moment, but Bill Connor's doing it better than Eastlake at this point in time. Looking for Harris! The coach's box is next door. Really not happy with Ben Maiden there going to ground. Uh, at a crucial time, the football gets, you know, just pushed out of his vicinity and he's not able to control it. Bounces freely to uh, Sharp, who hits up Harris on a good lead. All right, so this will be nice to get Bell Conan well and truly back into it if successful. He'll cut the margin to three. And there is a very long run up. The deep breaths. Another step backwards. This is brilliant television, isn't it? Watching the big yeah. run up from Harris. A couple of car park cars in the in the background there. It's like <laughs> He's got definitely a country back. football feel around He's this. He's gonna end up in Bruce. All right, here we go. There's the fifty. Imagine him as a fast bowler. <laughs> Brett Lee each yard out. We'll see if it's successful. Doesn't like it. No. Nah. Right from the word go. So that was a minor score, yes. The ability to really continue to apply pressure here. Look, you know, if you 32 to 40, you know, sort of five minutes into the third quarter. It's not going to be a high-scoring affair. And Eastlake tend to like these ones. They're able to sort of grind out a, a victory. So Bill Connor's going to try to bust them open. Well, it's an absolute grind at the moment, no doubt about that. Number 12 is Cameron Campbell. He got taken out. What does the umpire says? As soon as I heard the whistle then, I knew the, next, the box Straight away, was it was going to go explode. This certainly did. <laughs> All right, but they've got the free now. Eastlake's 14 maidens got it. Now he's got to give it over to Cam Campbell. There it is. So what's he like on the boot? There's a fullback might kick a goal here, mate. This will be interesting. Has he been given 50 as well? Yes. Yes, yes he has. Why, okay. That's why the box went off. He uh, was encroached on as he went to kick. Player came from behind and uh, affected a tackle. So I thought they were just dirty at the uh, the free, but added a 50 on top of that. That's why they explode. And he's got it to the man of the mark. Oh, that's not good by Cameron Campbell. And now he's like... You don't want it at fullback. You don't want it at full that's forward why as a result. 200 metres down that end. Oh, That's he good. would have you loved like? a one on the bloody, uh, or oh, pardon me, on the first uh, ground here at Kipax. Probably deserve one for the amount of work he's put in, uh, in terms of getting this facility up off the ground. But Hegarty's hit up uh, Des there, a lovely lead. And this is a guy, like I said, from the very first minute of the game, you want the footy in this guy's hands. His father's right behind him. I don't know if you can see him on screen. Big bald heads, his dad, John Des. So <laughs> hopefully Andrew can go back and slot one here. Do it for the old man, Desi. All right, here we go. No pressure. If he misses it, you'll be getting an absolute spray from the old man. Brilliant camera work. It's gone out of bounds on the fall. Yeah, he didn't move. Very passionate up here. You don't know what you say sometimes. You speak before you think. If that's the worst thing that happens today, we're going okay, <laughs> I reckon. Okay. <laughs> so here's Bruce out of defensive 50. Very long kick. Nice mark, Frail. He's... Deceptively tall, frail, and moves really well for a tall man. So, uh, you know, he's not, not the tall, tall, but he's, um, he must be 195, 190, 193, somewhere around that area, and he moves really well. So, Bell Connor now, Matthew Loken. Go back and go long, Lokes. Down the line. Yeah, that's what he does. Thumping left foot kick. Oh, that's some contact. Jeez from big Matthew Porter, the ruckman, he flew and has gone out of bounds in front of the actual AGL side. Got away with one there, East Lake, And, uh, you know, Gibson probably knows he's in for a contest when he's up against Matt Porter there. Like I said, Gibson's an immovable object and Matt Porter's not much easier. So two big men going at it. Good to watch. And he's back in the ruck and he had no competition. So he got the two hands to it. Going oh. down at ground level, that could have been high. Coming in hard was Lee McMahon. And yeah, it's been awarded. Bit of experience there from Lee. You'd think he'd know a little bit better than that. Jumping on James. So we're pointing long, bang, and that is uh, not the best result. Could have been paid a mark, didn't. The hand <laughs> pass has gone straight into uh, Justin Mesman. Porter is in there. Brabazon is running around, but we've got a free kick. 
to the East Lake Football Club, and it's John Van Muir's out of defensive 50. Yeah, if Belkin had played, he's diving at his knees then. We know that that sort of tunnelling aspect of the game has really been frowned upon, so good umpiring. Cameron Campbell was a bit ginger after he kicked out. We'll check on him. Inside the 50-metre arc now, but East Lake, can they chop it off? Not too much conviction. Another whistle. Maiden's uh, hurt there. He's down. And it looks as though Eastlake will get the free. He's going to take it. Courtesy of a hand pass to John Van Muers. Short. Bruce. Is where we can apply pressure to the Belcon and Club. If they can, those little short chips, and we can get enough pressure around the football, turn them over in that area of the ground, you're a chance kicking a goal. Oh, bit of a fly. Hardling worked well then. He's dangerous. That is going to go all the way through. I was dribbling and dribbling. That piece of play had it all. Yeah, the fly, the mark, the um, the push in the back, the football over the back, and he's uh, capitalised on that. Got to put the ball in the right areas, and, and he did. Balls worked hard for him and got through for a goal. Bit of a spark there. That was brilliant from the East Lake Footy Club. They're now 46 32, 7 4 4 8. And that's the way you've got to bust the game open. It's got to be a, a quick ball movement from back to forward, and that's exactly what Eastlake was able to do. Then we talked about them chipping, but as soon as they were able to get the football over the back, then you're a chance at goals. And that's um, when the football goes in slowly, that's, uh, that's why the game's a low-scoring affair. How about the fly? Sam Martling, wow. Okay, so Gibson, Love, managed to just get it away in time. Harris. Tried to pop it over his own head. Did very nicely. Spins around on his left. And he's found a teammate in 33, Chris York. And he might have a crack. Yeah, if you were the coach, Matt Loken, you wouldn't be real happy with um, with Wombat's sav coat there, not protecting his back and allowing Mardling to uh, get over the top. If you were the coach, you wouldn't like that, would you? No, and he had a pretty good view, you'd think. Big Lokes. <laughs> All right, Chris York here. The wind's probably counting against him. It's right to left. On his right. There's a brilliant shot of it again. But again, it goes wide. That's been the order of the day, just drifting across the face to the right-hand side. They've got to start capitalising here, Bill Connor. If they want to, be, want to be making a charge late in the game, they've got to start kicking those goals. And Chris would be aware of that. OK, so Nick Perry, 10 minutes gone. And now it's Ben Maiden in his own square. Smith. Harris on the mark, been very good today, Sam Smith. Finds Moody, short again. That's, the, that's where we've got to cut them down there. Wiles. They haven't. And this is where they can move the football forward and get over the back, as we discussed. And they were experts at it last year. There's no doubt about it. East Lake going straight through the corridor. Thank you very much. On the lead is Mardling. The small forward option again. Coat was behind right from the word go. Plays on quickly. Cut off very, very nicely. And what on Lexi, Lexi Bennett. Bennett. Yeah, read the play beautifully then. Um, not much room margin for error and he just was able to get a fingernail on when he had to captain type efforts very crucial I've just got Hayden Armstrong here he's going to work in the ruck Ooh. oh in the back perhaps Should no umpire been. let it go absolutely so the magpies now this is what you like from East Lake their chase out of defence has been you know really good just sort of nailed the tackle and missed but that's, that's where they're applying pressure to Belcon and going forward. And uh, they're just ducking behind. If you look behind the play there, they've got Armstrong and Rulston and Mardling. Those guys are starting to look a bit dangerous, which is, um, which is uh, not encouraging for Belcon at the moment. No, it's not. But it's still 13. Only two kicks, and they're well and truly back in at Belcon. That's a nice ruck work by number 45 in Browning. Okay. So here's a chance, Loken, he's got a, plenty of petrol to take. Loken drives him to the ground. Bit of pace from Lokes. Yeah, he's worked on his fitness. He definitely has, and he's um, probably dropped a few kilos. He's got out an elbow operation not long ago, which set him back a little bit, but he's... Um, oh, how's that for a ruck contest? Yeah, Browning's got up then, hasn't he? Oh, that was an absolute fly. He's a Ned Kelly lookalike, Browning, and he's... Um, <laughs> Whistle for the free. Mitch Frail. Frail on Delaney there. Players got to get just a bit busier with the football. A bit more urgency from Belconnor needs to occur. So 
There he goes, stomping kick, Frail. Could be looking for another flyer. That was too easy. That Hayden was very Armstrong nicely again. taken, Bubba. Yeah, Hayden Armstrong, just at shoulder level. And, you know, that's just not acceptable, I guess, from a, from a backman. That a, a tall man's taking pack marks at chest level. Just just not quite good enough from the Bell Cotton back line. Right into the bread basket. So you trust him from here, Armstrong, although it is early days, as we know, round one. Some might still be a bit rusty getting the minutes on the game. Here we go. Armstrong. Umpire's not moving too much. Nice kick. Hated Armstrong. And Eastlake extends the lead. That's really blown it open and applied some pressure to Bell Cotton. They're... Um, Eastlake's just controlling the tempo, controlling the way that they take the football from back to forward, and they're doing really well. So um, yeah, I think the back line six has got together for Belcon, and they'd be having a conversation around what needs to occur to stop those chest heighted pack marks. They're just definitely unacceptable. So the Premiership quarter could be living up to its name at this point in time, as we've wanted. We've wanted the game to bust right open. And it's just about on track in the favour of Eastlake at the minute. But if Bill Connor can peg a few back, it's game on. Yeah, you know, this is where you'd really like to see the Bill Connor just, just push Bennett deep forward. Uh, James Bennett is a ball winner. You know, he should be the person that's on the end of this type of thing. He's getting worked over by Wiles. It'd be interesting if you could just push Here's him forward. Here's the snap. Oh, he's done it. And a goal by Harris. And that's what they needed. A um, bit of spark there, but he's just a lone range down there at the moment, Harris. So, bit of assistance to be good. And that's where, um, like I said, I, th I think a Bennett going deep would be an interesting proposition for East Lake to match up on. Well, they got one back on Sam Smith, who's done a very good job on Harris, but that one was a bit too easy. As you can see on screen, Sam just shaking his head, a bit dirty at himself. Yeah, tough for Sam. Look, he's done a reasonable job, you'd think. Yeah, um, absolutely. But you know, Harris pops up with three at the moment, and if he gets a couple more, well, then... You know, just applies a bit more pressure. A bit of, bit of doubt creeps into Smith's mind, I guess. That's, yes. That's that's the type of thing you've got to be able to deal with as a backman. Especially when it's nice and tight at the moment. Eight points in favour of Eastlake. 14 minutes, 55 gone. He jumps at it, Browning. <laughs> He's loving the fly at the moment. But Bill Conan again, can they get two in a row? Chasing hard. There's Tim Gray thrown to the ground. And Bill Conan, they've got numbers around the footy. Here's a very good chance for him in Bunyan. Harper. Great Bunyan. hands. Here's a shot on goal. Oh, Yorkie. Damn. Been overseas a little bit too long. <laughs> He's forgotten how to do it. He hasn't worked hard enough out of that pocket and he needed to kick that one. Would have been a would have loved to get the feeling then if he had to kick that one and just, just applied the pressure both ways. That would have been a massive lift for Belconnen, eh? Yeah, we look there you could you could just feel the intensity of the Belconnen just um, improving. And you'd like to think that they um, they want to be in this contest, which is which makes for an interesting afternoon. O'Dwyer, very short. Did it bounce? Umpire let it go. He said it did, like a slips catch. And now Brabazon has it. Slows it up. Got some runners forward, including Ben Madden. He's not doing too much. He's going to go short and to his left, and it's Bruce now. Off Dic the one step. Dictates terms, Aaron Bruce, doesn't he? Works hard off, off and on the footy. Um, when he wants it, they definitely give it to him. Van Buers now. So Kite went to it a bit too early. Hand pass over the head. Mardley with the snap, and it's gone straight through. Eastlake get one back. Yeah, Bill Connor Blokes just not gelling there. Browning up in front of, uh, of Coat, who was positioning himself quite well. So allowed Mardling to get himself off on his own, and geez, he doesn't miss, does he? Just when you think Bell Conan is zeroing in on getting within single digits, cutting the deficit by two or three, he's like get one back. A hey, couple of Bell Conan blokes there, like Captain Lo uh, Coach Loken, just looking f looking to come off and was sent back on, and Hegarty was in the same boat. So I'm quite sure if they're battling or they just look to be struggling for breath and they need to get some clear air here to be able to you know um, make a contest of this. So the contest is now back in the middle. One nicely by Eastlake, but Brabazon left it behind. Love for the quick kick inside. 50 for Bell Conan. Coming through very, very nicely again it was York, but Eastlake came up with it. Now he's Brabazon. Has a bounce. And then goes down the line, but it's cut off by Stephen Coat. And that's a positioning Stephen needs to have in front of Mardling. You need to be playing a couple of, couple of metres in front. If he's good enough to jump over you, well, good luck, but... Um you sort of got to take that 
risk. Love to Collins. Short to Harris. In front again. He's inside the 50 and he's going back. Here we go. Jeez, we've had some work in that in that corner. I'm not quite sure if uh, if this pocket's been really helpful to us, but um, I think it's a tough one to kick from. He's going to give it a shot. All right. Well, if, if the Belconnen Magpies need one as we approach the 20-minute uh, mark, this would give them a spark. And once again, they're still in it. So here we go. Shane Harris needs it for his team. 50 metres out. And again, it's across the face. 50 across the face. I think we're expecting a little bit of work to be done there by the breeze, and it's just not happening. York's had one from out there. Des has had one. Harris has had two. They're crucial kicks. Tough going at the moment from that side of the nest. That's another smother. So they've played on. Off oh, the ground! <laughs> Desi's got it. The seven-point play. I think that might have been Aaron Bruce kicking out as well. And, you know, for the captain to be making a mistake like that, not that it's bad for him, but you just you, you feel for the guy probably more than anything in that situation. That's the last thing he wants. It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, look, Cam Campbell did exactly the same you thing did. when having a shot at goal. So smothers have been the order of the day. I've, Haven't they? I could imagine there's been something a lot. You've, <laughs> we must be counting 25 at <laughs> least. <so>. Cam Ribbon. <laughs> oh, welcome back. It's only round one. <laughs> uh, the margin is 11 at the moment as we approach three-quarter time. Indicative of the scrappy affair and the desperation with which both teams are attacking this contest. But it's still kept us all enthralled, hasn't it? It is low scoring, it's a bit messy, but there's a bit of excitement. You know, any of these two teams can win this one, absolutely. Uh, too easy from Brabbers on then. Not good enough from the Bell Cotton on ballers. Nice clearing kick. All right. Without so being rude, they were just disrespectful then. So, oh, that one's cut off. Here's an opportunity. Oh, they just can't get a clean grab of the football. He's like at the moment, but Bell Connor, when they use it, they're catching, struggling to find targets. Catching box going off next door, oh, and you can feel their gig. frustration. It's only round one. Here we go. He's like the short option down the line. That's a good grab. Oh, oh is that 50? On. No, he put. <laughs> and again. And they've called it 50 metres. Is that the right call? I think so. Uh, look, it probably should have been. It probably inexperienced then from um, from Jack Baker. Probably just really needed to wait and just push him towards the boundary and just take your medicine. At least taking the mark allowed him to take that. What should have occurred? Instead, he went bull at a gate, bull in a china shop, and <laughs> that's where we end up. So if they get this kick once again, it's the order of the day as well. Bell Connor get within reach, but they just can't. Get close enough, Bubba. Yeah, back out. It could be another, you know, 17-point lead. Looks Goal. like it is. And, um, you know, every time we, every time the Belconnen Club comes at them, they are uh, they are able to answer. Back-to-back -back goals never been more crucial for Belconnen at the moment as we approach the third quarter time siren. I'm interested. Look, I'll pop down at three-quarter time and j just get it inside the Belconnen huddle and Greg, you might go down to the East Lake one and see, see if you if can, I can sneak in. See if you can find out what's happening, but... Uh, I just want to hear what the word is because, you know, they're going to have to have a run and you, you'd hope that every team's, you always hear how fit they are at this point of the season. Well, you know, this is going to be, time will tell in the next 25 minutes. From your experience, how do the players go? I mean, it is the first game of the year. It's been a long pre-season. There's been a lot of running. It's a hot day. Uh, the legs in the fourth quarter, how are they? Oh, they're usually, you know, they're usually shot and the players will be, um, probably the question mark is, you know, how hard do you, how hard is it that you're going to have to be required to go? It's the question mark that gets you more than anything else, not knowing. Well, the pies. Cameron Campbell, bit of treatment after he kicked it. Oh, just can't hit the targets at the moment, but Eastlake's still a bit scrappy. Whistle. You know, and that's probably indicative of where they are. Eastlake are first in for the football, and Rutland's just clumsy. Close to the wing. Oh, up by Campbell there, got a free kick. He's been yeah, in it full. a lot, hasn't he, today, Cam? Yeah, he's, he's, been, he's been okay. Goes yeah, back. And that is number 38, McGrath. What's the options here? Well, there's two Eastlake jumpers. That was a bit too easy. Now made it, it is. Looking for options. Do they go to the goal square? And that's just that high kick again from Maiden, not necessarily penetrating, which you want. Whistle. 
over the shoulder. Advantage play. John Love out of defensive 50. Straight through the middle. He is looking for Banyan. Has some work to do against Gumley. And 17 and O'Dwyer. But the Magpies, another whistle. Free kick to them. I was about to say, we had to move it quickly and we didn't. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, that from the coach's yes, box. He's undisciplined, Bennett, and you, you have to agree with that. He wasn't, wasn't his best there. So this man, Hayden Armstrong on screen, is uh, taking his time. And that's a good 50-metre penalty, let me tell you. He's taken it right to the end and uh, put him, uh, Armstrong right within kicking distance. This will do a lot of damage to Bill Connor if successful. So here we go, Armstrong. Comes off the boot nicely. He likes the goal it. umpire isn't yeah. moving too much. Could East be, Lake. Could be terminal for the Bell Connor Football Club, that one. He's, uh, you know, when your assistant coach is giving away a 50-metre penalty and then uh, the young fella, Hayden Armstrong, goes back and bangs it when they needed one. Interesting times. Wiles is into Bennett in the middle. Yeah, a few shoulders. You'd love to see a few people here stand tall and make a statement for the Bell Connor Football Club, but at the moment it's not occurring. And Wiles is definitely dictating terms in the middle. Yeah, he certainly is. He was very strong in that department last year. Had a ripper season in his opening NEFL campaign in season 2012 at the Eastern Conference. And now Bell Conan making it very difficult for themselves now. Porter got one to the eye. That's unfortunate. Accidental poke to the eye. Intercepted. Is that your man again? In Wiles, yes it is, falls to the ground, is that ball? The umpire let it go, he's a chance for Eastlake to go inside 50, they do the piercing pass. Martling is chasing, great by Stephen Coate, but still Martling, that should be play on. The umpire says play on, so it's Coate, he gives it off. And Bell Conan get out of trouble, yes they do. And can they get inside there, 50, That's that's been pinged for high. And will that be 50? No. Moody has it, has got to give it back, and he does. It's all happening now, Bubba. Oh, just too many passengers in the Belcon Football Club side. Like, that's Simon Curtis. You must have only had about half a dozen touches, and if for our better players, it's just not good enough. So inside the pocket, grazing to the ground, as is Bruce. Bunyan. Is that Bunyan on the wing? Oh, that was close. I thought it was going to go through for a minute before we saw the Eastlake player there. And they go short. Full short to the frail. To Bruce. Back to Frail. He's got a long kick. Looks for the maximum and he's got it. Well done by Lex again. Good Just punch. Timings, yeah, timing's everything. His ability to work into that position has been um, to spoil. has been outstanding today. A lot of hands-on hits for the Belcon of Footy Club. The boys look tired. Wondering where the spark's going to come from and they've really got to start generating that themselves. All right, so the tap down by Porter went straight to East Lake. Now they're at ground level again, jumping everywhere. Another whistle. Advantage is the call. Cameron Campbell on his right inside 50. That's yes. a good mark. Yes, you know, and that's that's Bennett again, Lexi. You know, willing to uh, accept the handball, run the line and, and deliver. And this is on the end of it. Oh, he's going to play on and go short to Harris. But there is that problem of the angle again, <laughs> Bubba. This side of the ground. I mean, it's not as bad. And it's not position. as far away, hey? Yeah, a little bit better position than he has been in the past. But uh, the problem is we probably need to be using this time a bit better than Harris moving back for uh, his 45-metre run-up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we'll just have pot today. <laughs> well, well, it hasn't been working too well so far, but I reckon he might be fine for this one. And this will be very handy as we approach three-quarter time. 26 and a half gone. Okay, so he's reached the 50. Now he begins to run off his left, and it's sneaking. Minus score. Mm. We just got to be better in those situations, but that's okay. I guess time to work. Seven point play last time, Greg. Oh well, here we go. See if it works again. But he's like they go down the line. John Van Mewers is the target. Couldn't bring it down. Oh, you've said it, Bubba. This is looking really good for Bell Cotton. So like and drifting forward. And uh, on the end of some great work there by Rutland. There's only one place that football was going to go with a spoil from Jansen. It was going to be front and centre, and he got himself to the right spot. Seven-point play or two-point play. We'll see how we go, <laughs> Lokes. Surely. But once again, that side of the that? nest. It's a new one. It's very, very short. <laughs> is it deliberate? 
he's a good fella. Has he had a bit of colour in it too? <laughs> or is it sunscreen? Sunscreen. All right. He's going to have a shot now. Logue's the former Collingwood hey, Pies, He claps it through. Would you believe Logan was doing a, a shampoo ad 10 years ago? That is very <laughs> funny you mentioned that because I think it's still on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we can uh, show it to the audience somehow, maybe next week. Any of the viewers, yeah, you can put that one up on the NEFL preview. Yeah, eh? yeah, Matthew Loken, who has gone yeah, yeah on that occasion because he split the middle, 70 54, 28 gone. It's probably the right time then, and like we've said, they just need to get some, 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 um, some focal points down there forward. Uh, just two one-dimensional through Sh to through Harris, so this is the right idea. Get another one here in this game on. Yes, and another one for Harris will do his confidence a word of good, but he's in the middle of the ground now. Yeah, I think he might be trying to bust his, his men up here, so it's probably a good move from him to get himself up. All right, so they redo it. And Browning punches it forward. Good opportunity for Bill Conant again. So they push Bennett deep forward and uh, Harris has come up into the middle. Sam Smith got the kick away just in time. That's commitment. That was yeah. nicely done, but it was just thrown straight down. Yeah, Sin and Brown, that's that debutant I spoke about before. Just um, working really hard. That's what you want to see from the coach, from the debutant. Browning to Campbell. Couldn't do the best with it. East Lake. With the bounce, the Langy snap on his left. 50, the man in front. And now we've got Shane Harris up back now, alongside Coat and Co. This is someone, again, we need more from in Hegarty. Good hit up, though. Curtis, this is the one we wanted more from as well. All right, down the line. There's Lokes again. Nice left foot kick down the line. Well, it sort of beat everyone. Bob threw them all. Sam Smith gets a mid out over the boundary line. 29 and a half minutes gone, 70-54. A few goals in this quarter, as we discussed. It was a low-scoring affair there for a while, and they've uh, upped the ante here, East Lake. So the, the quarter might go a little bit deeper than what we ex anticipate and might have another minute on the clock. Next goal, crucial for either team, especially Bill Conan. We have a whistle. So they're just waiting for that siren to go. And to take a break, because it has been a long quarter, half an hour. So there's the throw in. And it's Browning who's in there. And chasing after it is Patrick Delaney. And they're waiting for an umpire's decision. And he's paid one. Is that a free to Belcon? And it is. It was Bunyan's. Got to be a quick kick. And that's not the kick you're after. Oh, John Van Muir is very tight on Shane Harris. He's given away a free for over the shoulder. Got to hurry here, Harris. Not long to go. John Van Muir is asking a few questions to the umpire. Goes short. Who's he found? Found Bennett in the pocket. Okay, we're approaching 31 minutes. This is very crucial. This will get the margin back to 10 if successful. Oh, okay. So this is very nice now. <laughs> How's this for pressure? 16 the margin. As the Eastlake coaches go down the race very quickly, the kick is very, very good. What have they done? Have they paid it? What's happened? Out on the full. Okay, well, we're speechless. <laughs> What's the scoreboard done? No, it's a minor score. All right, I'll head down to this uh, huddle and All see right, what we can Bubba, find out. you go get it, the good word from Bill Conant. We will take it all. Crucial start for both teams, and we are off. And it's a good first use of the footy by the Bill Conant Magpies, courtesy of Sharp. Was that around the shoulder? Was that a bit too high? They put their hands up. I thought they might have been a bit guilty. And it has finally been paid by the umpire. And Bell Cotton, this is the start they needed. Yeah, Bennett has an ability to duck his head and get those free kicks with this distance. He's really going to test him. Well, here's another seven-point play with three-quarter time chucked in between. Because it's Bennett again. He did get a point. Might have been eight points. Eight point play. Eight point play. How good's your maths on the run? Okay. <laughs> so here he goes. Back in Magpie's colours. 51 metres. It's drifting to the right and short. They did a mark. Browning was there. So is Harris. Sam Smith. Oh. Is that deliberate? 
Well, Go- throw it in. Goal here is going to make it an interesting day for the crowd. Well worth the uh, goal cone donation to get in. Absolutely. That is a bargain for a game like this. So they throw it in. 15, the margin one minute gone. Final quarter. Browning was in there. Was he taken out by Gibson? No. Brabber's on with some pace. Gets rid of it, though. Chasing hard is Bennett of the James Variety. But it's East Lake. They've got some room. And they're just halting proceedings. That's a nice mark. God, how tall is Mitch Frail? This is where they've just been able to dictate terms, like I said. The tempo they've been able to hold on to... uh just suits them. When they've had to go hard, they go hard. When they've been able to hold it up, they have as well. Gumley could have got one there as well. Armstrong was asking the question. But it will be a throw in. 15 still the margin. And can Bell Conan get out of jail with the next couple of goals? Defensively, it's okay at the moment. A bit of a style, mate. Good to see Bunyan just working his way in front of the man. That's the type of thing that Bill Conan's going to have to just play some disciplined football, being in front, wait for your opportunities and take them when they come. Just as crucial for Eastlake if they're the next to score as well. So it's just outside there, 50. Brabbers on hand pass over the head. That was nice because behind him was Wiles. And the ball is just bopping around. Collins is there for Bell Conan, but it's out of bounds. And we'll have the same result again. So we'll throw it in. Okay, crucial. Frail, V, Porter. And here it is again. Josh Moody, surprise, surprise. He's been great today. This one could bounce through. Oh, it's a shocker for Bruce. Oh, that's okay. Delaney's got to over. work the line here. And he did that nicely. And he has, because Aaron Bruce is just so dangerous in that situation. We saw it in last year's uh, preliminary final. Wow. Where, you know, gets up and does the job when the, when the club needs him. And uh, you don't want to give that bloke an inch. That was a big game. One of the best from last year, don't about that. It just shows how important he is to his football club. Nice punch, Frail. In the direction of the goal square, but Bell Connor, and they clean up the scraps very nicely and they get rid of it. Out of their defensive 50, some tough work there for 15 in Des. Funny when you know Porter's the one putting it back down Chad Gibson's throat, you're wondering where do you want to position your ruckman and where's going to be most effective. Snap and goal! Kicked it, Moody. He's, he's been really good, Moody, today, hasn't he? Back in the ruck. And it's Bill Connor who comes up with it. Oh, thrown to ground. That was some good defence. Harper whistle. And a free kick to Eastlake. Wiles has it. On his right. And it falls short of the direction of Frail. So now it's the Pies. Through Hegarty. Hegarty squaring up in the middle of the ground. Dangerous kick and wasn't great. So Brabazon dishes it off. Over Coates' head. Oh, trying to get the hand pass away. Was Armstrong? Couldn't. Was that over the head? Yes, it, it was. That's Baker again. He's just been clumsy a couple of times and probably coming back to horn him a little bit. That's tough going, but it was there, wasn't it? Now Armstrong will have another shot on goal. There Effective is the Armstrong. He hasn't missed his opportunities when he's had them. So go back here and line up, and that's really going to apply some pressure to the Magpies. So there is the view here at the nest. And Armstrong... You'd expect shouldn't have too many troubles. That is straight through the middle. Eastlake in front. His effective kick, uh, Hayden Armstrong. This is uh, last roll of dice stuff here for Bell Connor by the look of things. Yes, one more from Eastlake. You suggest that is a nail in the coffin. So it's uh, Gibson down to Brabazon, who goes up and under. Collins working hard as his love for the pies. And they both meet in the middle. It's Collins who picked it up. Brownie got rid of it. Brabazon's in everything again. He's just juggling it through. Bit of contact there. Yeah, good by Campbell. That's what you want to see. And now it's a bit Going hard. A few of the players are down in back play, just cramping. Um, that's the sort of conditions we've played in today. It's soft underfoot, but it's a hot day. Okay, so we've got a few fisticuffs happening. But Ryan Brabazon is a bit slow to get up. If he 
just heard that from the coach's box next door. They've got nothing left on the bench and they really needed to get... Um, it was Dan O'Connor up on his feet because they don't have much left with so which intensity the game's been played at, really. counter-attack now for Bill Conan, working very, very hard. That's Simon Curtis in there, number eight. Was that the boss? Cam Campbell, Sam Smith in front of Shane Harris on this occasion. Coming through was Bruce, the hand pass to Wiles. He does the same, finds his teammate in 20, Lee McMahon. Experience there, just holding the footy up. Didn't have, no, he knew he didn't have to drive it long forward, just picked out his man. Oh, that's nice. And Curtis. Down. Back play, it would have hurt. The knee in the back from Curtis. Some of them are dropping like flies at the moment from both teams. That one's close to the boundary line, nearly, and it goes over. Nearly a mark there from Des, but it just shows the desperation with which their back line six, East Lakes, willing to work. I think it, was, it wasn't Van Muir's, but it was, hey, it was Aaron Bruce who just worked the football over. So they throw it in. And that was some nice position by Porter. But it's Wiles again. He's had a few couple of touches in the past five minutes or so. Bruce again. The kick is a long one. Close to the boundary line. But Belconnen, another turnover by East Lake And the Pies. Short. Cameron Campbell. Hingity. Oh, that's some it nice ought to be contact. 50. Very sloppy. Not, Not probably, paid. probably due in the air. That's okay. And again, this distance is just going to test the Belconnen players. Turnbull it is. Number 46 on his back. 46 for 46, that is a good point. Let's see if the uh, numbers are working for him. So here we go. They desperately need this, Ryan Turnbull. It's wide and it hits the uh, point post, out of bounds on the fall. Yeah, no score there, and look, you'd, you'd think that they do need to be the next major contributor to, ha to be back in the game here, Bill Conan. So, um, those types of uh, long points or, or long out of bounds in the full just aren't acceptable at this stage of the game. It's hurting a bit. Sun in the eyes, but still not a bad effort from Bill Conan because they come up with it short. Inside 50, Harris, he's marked that. Yeah, good call. Better side from Harris here on the left. Sam Harris on the mark, so Shane, he needs to get this one for confidence and the sake of his team. Yeah, look, 27 points at this, at this stage of the game is going to be difficult, so be interested to see if he does kick it. I want to see a contest, I don't know about you, GT, but... You be, betcha. You know, that's what, that's what we're here for. We made some very bad habits last year riding teams off with a long way to go in the fourth quarter to come back to win, so I'm not willing to do that today, Harris. Well, Bunyan's back, so that'll make you happy. Oh, back the big the fella. <laughs> All right. A lot is riding on this kick. On his left, he's got some height. The umpire is not moving much at all. He's he got it. it, Shane Harris. And that's his fourth. And you know, That's what we talked about before with, with Smith doing such a quality job. But um, he's just dangerous. He gets off, only needs a couple of opportunities and makes you part people. Absolutely, it does. And we'll see who is the better. And good to see the Belcon on balls, man, up in the middle. And they still haven't got the footy out, but it was a better contest in the middle of the ground. Brabazon's dominating in there. Nice work from Eastlake. Was there some holding? Yes, there was. I think that was Baker again. So here is an absolute dream for Eastlake straight in front. That one hurts. It's Chad Gibson. Who is straight in front. The skipper goes bang and gets the goal for Eastlake. You know, and that's such a quick reply. That's uh, heartbreaking stuff. So back in the middle. Eastlake's frail, taps it down to Moody, gets the kick away, streaming through very, very nicely. It was 35 in Baker. He's had a He's tough day. Free kick. <laughs> He's got one He's for the day. Good on you, Jack. And now, oh, it's like a... Pinpon ball there at the moment. Some noise going in the left-hand box to us. And Bruce is hurt. And there is some uh, very nice words of advice from next door. But Aaron Bruce has it. And Aaron Bruce. It's been a passionate game, this one, no doubt. And he goes long, looking for his skipper. That was a very nice 
punch, but uh, coming straight through, if you don't mind, is a very nice Dean Rolston. And that should do us. So Loken finds himself in the ruck, taps it down. And now coming through was James Bennett and Bell Connor now with a long kick into the direction of Andrew Des. But Eastlake come up with it. That was uh, Nick Perry. And here's some work right in front of us. Two against one. Wiles did pretty well considering the circumstances. But Belconnen have it in the meantime. Bennett shots on. Brabazon is there. He's everywhere, Brabazon, at the moment. He's, you know, working as hard as he possibly can back and forward. And he's effective in the middle of the ground without a doubt. The possession count would be in the 20s for sure for Brabazon, you'd suggest. Yeah, I'd be interested. I reckon he's probably had seven or eight this quarter as well as yeah. you know, three or four clearances, which is important in terms of your output in the game. And he's been, um, he's been outstanding in the, in the first 10 or 15 minutes this quarter. Moody now. Just slowing things down. Mitch Frail signaling to the bench that he wants to come and have a breather. And that is not a very good kick. Uh, they're the walking wounded at the moment, East Lake. So... It probably shows the effort and the intent with which they've played the game and the intensity. So you can't question their endeavour at this, start, at this start of the season. So we throw it in again. That is a very nice punch. And they've gained 30 metres out of that. Term, round one of the Eastern Conference, the Neefall. Bill Conan, they managed to get a kick away. So it's Smith and Harris again. Was that hands in the back from Smith? Surely. No, the umpire let it go. Umpire says play on again. They're all over him. And they are going to throw it up again. No, he's paid a free. Unsure what that was for. Yeah, Bit of those... a late call, too. Yeah, definitely. I thought he was actually coming in to throw it up. So who have we got? Yeah, it's Bennett Lex. Yeah, Lexi. The skipper with the snap. That's very nice. It's good. He's working his, his backside back off to get back in the middle of the ground. He doesn't think they're gone. The Brabazon's definitely worked well there. So here we go now. The bounce. Straight up. Gibson timed his jump nicely. And now he's James Bennett. Gives it off to Collins. Just giving some directions to tell his teammates. Harris v. Smith right in front of us. Smith with the punch. And that'll find the boundary line. And that is some very nice work indeed. Deville conditions at 25, 26 degrees. So they throw it in. Commentary side. Was that over the head? Yes, it was. Was the umpire. And that could be 50 from Bennett. It's a very nice kick from Bennett. Oh, that could be another 50 because he's thrown him away. And now things are getting a bit archy bargy at the moment. Or well, passionate as well. Very passionate, in fact, from both teams. And now we've gone from one end of the field to the other. All for some high contact on Chad Gibson. He goes right. Boot looking towards the goal square. Three on one arm strong. Here could be a snap from Mardling. That is a brilliant goal. He's had an outstanding game, Mardling. Dangerous small forward. But a free kick to Eastlake. Number 11. Lexi Bennett, the captain. In just a mesmer gets a free. Oh, sorry. Lexi, the other opposition team actually might have been Cam Campbell then and made high contact. So Bruce! Move it gone! No, the umpire <laughs> said play on. It's all happening at the nest. <laughs> Eastlake, that's a good punch. Can they get another one back? They've already cracked the century. The hand pass from Collins. It's very tight at the moment. Curtis. Got rid of it. Out of bounds. Wow. Might be on behind play again, but nah. It's just some young blokes pushing each other around. <laughs> well, we talked about the uh, rivalry between the two teams. Yeah, we, you know, get along all right, but it might have changed after this, Bubba. We're getting a bit more feeling in this, which is excellent. You know, the, the blokes in the coaches box next door definitely haven't lost any feeling, but uh, they're... They're definitely geeing their charges on for, for something bigger. And, and he's like, probably needs to make a stand here in terms of where the direction they want their football club to head in. I think they're definitely making the statement. Big time. 100 plays, 67. And now the Pies, bit of a juggling act, high contact. And they get the advantage. So here we go again, Harper. Left to his teammate. 
on the boot. Oh, that's a nice grab. John Van Ewers comes through. And Johnny on the spot that time, definitely. Sam Smith right in front of the commentary box. Lokes takes some contact. Right in front of us, it is all happening. Oh, oh Loke has been taken out and he will get the free. Right in front of the new grandstand, there is some feeling in this game. That goes in front of us, Harris, that was nice. And now we've got Sam Smith. What is happening in the back play? We need more than two people in here to see what's going on. So now we've got Harris right in the bunker of his East Lake colleagues. And they might have a few advice to him. Yeah, Brabazon's telling him some few. So here we go, Shane Harris. It's going, going, going away to the right. That could have been a throw. Bruce just punched it out. They're tripping over each other. East Lake. Well done, Matty Lang there. Really, oh, he's kicked it out of bounds. Oh, out of the bounds fall, on the fall. He, he, was, he was in the marking contest and he was affecting play at ground level. And, you know, for a tall guy that's worked his ring off, he's, uh, he's done really well there. Well, that could have been very close with Matthew Loken going straight through the fence. He had some momentum behind him. We've got the free. Maybe 102 kilos of man going straight there. I'm not sure, <laughs> not sure if the budget... <laughs> it's a brand new fence, <laughs> Lokes, for the new digs. <laughs> Stretch fast enough, far enough for uh, reinforced fencing. Every week, oh, there's some contacts. Cameron Campbell with that kick to his teammate in York. Now Eastlake's going forward, chasing hard is Loke and the bounce. How's it going to sit? Well, he ended up on his knees. Here we go. And Belconnen comes up with a bit of contact after it as well. And now it's 26 and Don Bunyan. He goes back to the middle. Sports a teammate in 23. And Hegarty. And this is what we're talking about, this lack of authority when they go forward with the football. Just enables Eastlake's players. Look how many they've got behind the football. And that's just what's uh, affecting Bell Cotton's ability to, to hit the scoreboard with anything other than a point. You know, nine goals, 13 just isn't good enough. Compared to 16-4, that is very nice kicking from the East Lane Footy Club. Was that hands in the back after he took it? Chris Jansen there just trying to work Mardling over. Jansen will be Mardling's fourth opponent today. He's been outstanding, Mardling. Goes short. Picks out a man. Very nice. Jake Gumley it is. And things have settled down a bit. He's just one of their um, unsung heroes, I guess, Gumley. He's yeah. been around the footy club for a long time, and um, in terms of being an elite player, he's probably not, but he's one of those people that you'd love to have at your footy club because he works and works and works, and um, he's a guy on the end of it at you know, the 22-minute mark of the quarter. 51 metres out, Jake Gumley. Minus score. So it's 101 67, 22 minutes gone. And Bill Connan down the line. Can they get a few back to put some respectability on the scoreboard? That was some nice work at ground level by Curtis, close to the boundary line, and that's where it heads. It's at 23 minutes, the final term. Look, at a bit of a history lesson here. It reminds me of a time many moons ago when we took on East Lake first round in a in a game, and they came in exactly like this and just put us to bed very early in the season. And um, they went on to make a grand final that year, and they could rightfully expect to do something similar this year because they've been really good today. Could it be deja vu? So that's Sam Smith, and he spots his teammate in Ralston. He gets rid of it quickly, but he dropped a call. Was Ben Maiden? With the Magpies, we have a whistle. There's the umpire in the background and a free kick to Bell Connons. 27, Matthew Sharp. No, it's not. In fact, it's uh, Chris Jansen. And chasing his Harper. He's got no pressure on him whatsoever. Brabazon just staying back. And that's a good grab. Andrew Des. He's worked hard, Desi, but um, and Perry's done a really good job on him. Well, there was a lot of pressure there for his teammate, wasn't there? Silly kick. James Bennett. You know, now. you need to be going back and hitting someone up 30 metres out, not 50 metres out from goals. Perry to Mesman. Mesman now, short. And this is Lang again. Awkward kicking style, but when there's not much pressure on, doesn't really matter. And no pressure on Brabazon either, because he could afford to drop it. 
before regathering and giving it off to Moody. Moody again. Moves well. And maybe, look, I can't understand. Eastlake haven't recruited all that heavily this year and they obviously got a lot of faith in some of these people and, you know, the Mardling was there last year and the, and the Gumleys that we've spoken about um, definitely standing up today. Yeah, they are. And they're very underrated, aren't they? As you said, good clubmen too. Yeah, I would have, I would, look, I would have thought that's... That must have been their thought process over summer. We don't need many players, and they've um, shown that today that they didn't from last year. There was spoil number 20 for today. <laughs> and that one has been wrapped up, and now we'll bounce it up again. So Eastlake get the chocolates in round one against Bell Conan on their first home game at the Nest. I talked to Anthony Burke a couple of weeks ago when the ground was open for a GWS clutch, and he, he was obviously worried about the game. He thought we'd be up for it, and... He's obviously got his, um, he's got it right, his game plan and his approach to today because they've totally outclassed Bill Connor. Not totally outclassed, but they've just had the measure of Bill Connor, rather. Yeah, they have after a strong start by the Pies as Gibson goes very long. Long kick for a fly and that is a screamer. That could be mark of the year in round one. And Rulston can do that. We talked about how he can jump and leap. Look. He's, uh, he's a magician for that type of stuff. This wouldn't be his first one. This, he does this nearly every second week. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly does. I wouldn't want to be his brother in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Step ladder at home. So, Rolston, impressive mark. Can he make it the impressive double? That was something special. Well captured as well. So here we go. Rolston deserves a goal after that leap. There it is. He liked it. That is a very good result for Dean Rolston. Spectacular mark. And a very nice goal. And that takes the margin to 30. So 107.67. 27 minutes gone. This has been a very nice display in the final term by Eastlake. Abel Connor to kick and hope. Two against, well, three against two in that situation. Abel Connor win that little contest in the direction of Matthew Loken, but here's Brabazon again. And that's exactly the same situation reflected at the other end where Rutland's had the opportunity to get a quick kick in and he's hit up the target, missed, turned over, and that's the story of the day for uh, both sides, I think. So John Van Muir's. Out back, he's got Sam Smith, and that's exactly where he goes. No pressure on him. He's got Perry short to his right. He goes even longer, looking for the skipper in Gibson, but it's gone out of bounds on the fall. And now the Belcott and Magpies will have it. Right in front of us at the commentary, looking for Harris! Good grab. As we've seen time and time again, though, he's not in a, in a high percentage position to kick a goal. I don't think he's potted one from here, and it, um, we're talking probably six or seven shots from the situation on this GT. What's your thoughts? Yeah, mate, it's going to be tough, isn't it? We can't even see him on screen, courtesy of the new commentary box, with a very small window. <laughs> but there is Sam Smith on the mark. Harris will come into screen. Here we go. On his left. Oh, it's a shocker, Shane Harris. Out of bounds on the full, Bubba. Eastlake crowd liked it. They loved it. They're more vocal than ever, which is which is good. I guess that's what you want. You want the uh, opposition to feel comfortable at your home ground as well so they can turn up next time and support. They were very quiet early on, weren't they, the East Lake supporters? Probably apprehension, not not sure what to expect. And got to come out to uh, GWB, the Greater West Belconnen. Never sure what to expect out here. The GWB, I like it. I might use that, Bubba. Brilliant. East Lake looking to extend. Can they crack the 50 margin? They're only 10 off it at the moment, and we've got some space. And Mitch Frail, who is a very good kick. He's been solid today, consistent as well. Short, nice. And less dramatic than his last grab, Dean Rolston. He's just preparedness to work then. Uh, turn the bell kind of player over. So another tough angle. And Rolston will take his time. 29 and a half minutes. Ignores the lead from Gumley. Rolston looks very, very nice off the boot. Dean Rolston, new star. That's a beautiful kick, wasn't it? Yeah. And we talked about this, I guess, across the day where it's a long points at Belcotton's end to, to what they go down the other end and, and hit the board with maximum. If Brabazon can get another clearance here in the middle. So we've ticked over the half hour mark. 
Frail in the middle against Browning, and it's Eastlake again through the middle, but they couldn't get the kick away. Whistle, and we'll have a free kick in favour of Belconnen. And they play on and go long, but there is no one there except for wide jumpers, and that was easily taken by Matty O'Dwyer. And there it is, after 30 minutes. The East Bay Football Club, 18-5, 1-13 to Bill Connor, 9-13-67. Baba, thanks for your company. Before we let you go, man of the match. Oh, look, I'd probably... Brabazon or, or Aaron Bruce would be would be mine, although if you look forward, there was um, Mardling and, and, and Moody. So it uh, depends what the coach is after, but probably Mardling in terms of effectiveness when he's kicked the goals. He'd probably kick five and, and, and hasn't missed one. And, you know, for limited opportunities for a small forward, that's all we could expect. Bubba, thanks for your company, brother. Thank you, GT. Nailed it. This has been Neefle Eastern Conference Round 1. And it's gone in favour of East Lake, 18-5, 113-9, We'll see you next week at Ainsley Oval for Ainsley and the Sydney Hills Eagles. Until then, good night.